Hello everyone, and welcome to Cricket World TV. Okay, fifth match now in the Idea Cup. JP joining us again. Hello, Jim. John, thanks for your insight again today. We'll have a look at the, uh, the latest game in this round robin series. The finals is coming up next Wednesday, and not really all to play for in this game, but still important for both teams prior to the last two games in the series. That's right, Sri Lanka taking on India. Sri Lanka had already qualified for the final. India had to win one of their remaining two games to, to make sure they secured their place in the final. As it was, second sort of game in a row, it was a little bit one-sided. India cruising home by eight wickets in the end. Well, they've obviously uh, enjoyed that today, um, but it really could have been a better game for Sri Lanka. But I've got a feeling they were already qualified and were just using the games to see what would happen if they batted second in the final on Wednesday, but uh, not really the score they would be too proud of. Well, absolutely not. Kumar Sangakara won the toss again. He's getting very, very good at that. Very handy skill to have as a captain. And then, unfortunately, as you say, they were decided to bat first and were bowled out for 200. And 13 would have been a lot worse had it not been for Kumar Sangakara himself. And he could pretty quick 50, 68. He scored, and then Suraj Randi finally, uh, I say finally, he's only played maybe five or six games, but uh, showing a bit of promise with the bat. He made 56. The middle order didn't show at all, and some pretty good bowling from India as well. Zaha Khan, in particular, very impressed. He's not had a great series. He, he took three for 38, and the leg spinner Amit Mishra in the side as a replacement for Harbhajan Singh, who was having a rest. He took three for 40 to, to get rid of the tail, so most impressive from India. And of course that'll uh, bring up our selection quandary for the uh, for the selectors, given that Harbour Jones had a rest and now he's coming and taking three wickets. Certainly, well, it's not a bad problem to have, to have lots of bowlers taking wickets. And what I would say in favour of Harbour Jan and Mishra, as well as he bowled, it was pretty much the tail enders he got rid of, so uh, Harbour Jan Singh will probably play again. Okay, well, Indian reply then, it didn't seem too much bother really for them, and as expected, they came out and, uh, and batted very well. They did indeed, they really weren't going to hang around. They actually picked up a bonus point, it's completely irrelevant, because all they had to do was to win and to go through to the final. Gautam Gumbi, very, very impressive, as he has been over the last 18 months or so, led from the front. He made 71, really got the innings off to the best of starts, along with Dinesh Kartik, he made 40 or 48 very quick runs. And by the time those two, that partnership was broken, the game was pretty much over. A quick word for Virat Kohli, he made 71 not out, his fourth innings of 50 or more in five innings. So he's on top form as well. Well, brilliant. And I think uh, to, to note really from that so far is that, first of all, in the first innings, India's fielding was a lot better. And uh, that was uh, good to see from them. And a couple of great catches from Yuvraj Singh. Not the most mobile fielders, but he got under a, a couple of sleepers today. Yeah, he got, I, saw, I saw one of those, he really did sort of arch his back and jumped and did very well. I was, was quite pleased, <laughs> as you would be when you take a great catch to have actually taken it. So, yeah, well done India in the field. Well, of course, nice for in Sri Lanka, um, Siraj Randi, from his first one day 50. And it came at a good time. I mean, obviously, never a bad time to score a 50, but they really were in trouble. They lost the middle order very cheaply, and he came out and gave some, some excellent support to Sangakara at the top of the order and Sri Lanka will hope they've unearthed another all-rounder. OK, well thanks for that uh, John. Now then, time for the big issue. So on to the big issue now. John, India's fielding really is the difference between the two teams today. Well fielding in January really Jim, I mean India's fielding was vastly improved, much better ground fielding, their catching was good. It's the, uh, one of the oldest cricket cliches in the book, catchers win matches and the difference when Sri Lanka came out of field was very, very marked. They dropped two sitters, really. Dilshan, you don't really expect him to drop catches. He dropped Gumbir fairly early on. There was an even bigger drop, I'm afraid, to Sarah Pereira. Really should have held it in the deep, and that really was one of the major differences between the two sides today. And let's just see today what uh, these means for these teams in the table. You said they've already qualified, John. Um, Sri Lanka, that is. And India now have qualified as well. That's right, um, Sri Lanka 12 points from the four matches. They've completed their schedule in the Idea Cup uh, round robin stage. India 9 points from their three games. Bangladesh, well, they're out of it, but they do have another game against India. They'll also take it as practice to see what would happen if they bat a second in the final? They might well do. Uh, it wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? And uh, whether they can continue to give some of the stars a rest or, or bring them back, we'll, we'll wait and see. Looking forward to it. So we've seen some great cricket so far, individuals and team-wise. Scores not quite so high in this game. Things are pretty flat pitch, really, and we might have expected a few more runs, but I'm sure we'll see more in the upcoming games. The two that are remaining, of course, Bangladesh v India is uh, coming up tomorrow. And on Wednesday, the final of the Idea Cup, India plays Sri Lanka, all to play for, and uh, we'll be watching uh, closely to see how they get on. We hope you are going to be watching us too. Thanks for watching Cricket World TV.